What I've been interested in primarily is studying the metabolism of cancer cells. Um, and particularly, we're interested in how cancer cells adapt to proliferate um, and grow kind of in an uncontrolled fashion, and also how they co-opt that metabolism to uh, signal to one another to coordinate that growth and also metastasize and, and um, you know, further develop the tumor. I worked on a variety of projects. Um, one of them has been looking at enzymes that are overexpressed in cancer cells and actually utilizing those to create imaging reagents so that we could image you know, how the metabolism is taking place in the cell, but also try to create diagnostic reagents that we can use in animals now, but ultimately in patients, um, that take advantage of these markers that are overexpressed on cancer cells. At the same time, we found that some of these enzymes are involved in signaling between tumor cells and also between the tumor cells and like their environment of the normal tissue. And so while we understand a lot of like the genetic alterations in cancer, we don't understand a lot of the communication going on between the cells because it's just a you know, small kind of complex environment. So I've been able to take a lot of those tools, the technology tools in the lab to discover um, what we call like quorum sensing pathways in cancer. So these are essentially small molecule, small molecule communication um, signals that are going on between the cancer cells to kind of coordinate their activity. So, so far we're doing everything just in the lab, but now we're teaming up with clinical collaborators to try to turn this into an actual diagnostic that we could, you know, move out of animals and out of the lab and try to actually get it into the clinic to see if it would be useful. Um, with the signaling pathways and with the modification that we discovered, we believe that these are pretty basic cancer biology types of discoveries. But um, I think that as we start to elucidate the network that's you know, regulating these events, that we'll be able to identify points for um, therapeutic intervention. Just for uh, everyone who donates you know, to cancer research and specifically to foundations like Damon Runyon, um, who are funding early career scientists, because I think the current climate is making it really difficult for us to get funding and to uh, you know, start our careers and pursue you know, risky ideas. So I'm very thankful for donors that, uh, that allow us to do the work that we're doing and that um, are allowing us to kind of catapult our careers at this early stage. And, uh, you know, they're really making a difference.